Here we are showing a case of RIR is done for ectopic renal stone. There is no conflict of interest. The patient is a 32 year male with right sided pelvic ectopic kidney with a 2 cm stone in the pelvis. This is the CTKUB showing the right sided pelvic ectopic kidney with stone in the pelvis of around 2 cm size and volume of around 3500 mm3 and Hounsfield units of 850. This patient was attempted RIRS outside. They were able to see the stone but they could not reach the stone so they have stented and referred to us. After removing the stent, ureteroscopy was done, 0 0.032 inch thermo guide wire was passed and 10 by 12 French axis sheet cook flexor is inserted over the guide wire under fluoroscopic guidance. Next, flexible ureteroscopy is done, disposable digital flexible ureteroscope with 7.5 French outer shaft diameter endoscope sleek is used. We are inspecting the calluses and finally at one point of time at an awkward angle the stone was visible this in this middle calyx. So we had decided to basket the stone. Basketing was done and the stone was relocated from the abnormally located middle calyx to a more favorable upper calyx. 2.2 French encircle basket was used. We were lucky that day we were able to basket the stone successfully because if this has failed then we have to land up in ultrasound or lab guided PCNL. So this is the picture before and after basketing. We have done laser lithotripsy using thulium fiber laser. Initially painting of the stone was done using settings of 15 hertz 1 joule in fragmentation mode because we wanted to paint the stone because if big fragments are formed and if they migrate it will be difficult to trace the stone but at one point of time we found that kind of painting is not possible because of the difficult maneuverability so we had switched to fragmentation mode 10 hertz and 2 joules the stone was converted into fragments the core of the stone was hard and therefore it was a good decision to fragment the stone. After the stone was fragmented popcorning was done using 100 hertz and 0.2 joules and all the entire lot of fragments were converted into fine powder in a short span of time. The total laser time used was 23 minutes and the total duration of surgery was 55 minutes. So having a flexible ureteroscope with good deflectability and having a good team with trained assistants and the ability to basket and lastly having the thulium fiber laser were the factors which contributed to successfully completing the case. Thank you. The patient did well postoperatively.